Hi, welcome back to today's episode on Data Delights. You know how we do it here. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for tuning in. I remain your beautiful host, Connie Eze. So sometime last week, a lady, she's 25, and she got her guy a car. Not just a car, sorry, an SUV. She rented him an apartment, not just an apartment, not the regular, you know, a good apartment. She gave him money, stock of money, like five million or so. I'm not setting <laughs> of the fee girl, but trust me, this girl is the real sugar mommy at 25. And he raised some, how, why are you giving him money? Why are you doing all of this for a man? He's not supposed to be the one to do it for you. So I brought a guest that is going to tell us if it is the man's role or is the woman's role if it's a shared responsibility or it is um what is it called we are ev like we're evolving you understand anybody can do whatever they want to do meet my guests hi guys how are you all doing my name is Mfon. i'm a youtuber my youtube channel is in love and beyond I'll be giving you guys my idea, what I think about this, what I feel about it, and yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So, I want to um, find out from you. I know it might just be your personal um, opinion, your perspective about this topic, mm -hmm. but I also want us to stand on a moral, like on a moral standing, let's stand on an upright standing, let me not say moral, on an upright standing. Do you think the women of now, the women in 2024 are emasculating men? <sighs> That's uh, a tricky question because uh, if you ask me, I will tell you that it is the men that loves to be. Because uh, first of all, if you check social media these days, they keep saying they want 50-50. That is a way of them shying away from their responsibilities. And you know, I don't have a problem with them asking for 50-50. But if you're asking for 50-50, you only want 50-50 when it has to do with finances. Aside from finances, you don't want 50-50 anywhere else. That's where you see um, women footing the house bill and at the same time doing the house chores themselves while the husband is out there maybe having fun or reading newspaper or watching TV, you know? So I think men are the ones that likes to be emasculated. Well, coming from um, traditional sources, because we all come from somewhere, especially here in Nigeria, because the incident happened in Nigeria. I will not, I will not bring up a topic that we all cannot relate to. Okay. It happened in Abuja. If for a reason, we look back and say, okay, most of these people come up with, hey, I'm a traditional man. Hey, I, I, have, I know my roots. A woman must honor me. A woman must do this. A woman must do that. Then why is it a thing now? You see a man expecting a woman to take up roles and then be like, hey, now, are you not, are you not a human being? Where is the role of tradition? Well, uh, a few months ago, I met someone uh, we're just talking, it was at a restaurant, so a topic came up and I also joined the conversation. And the guy said that he wants the lady to also share in res financial responsibilities of the house. But how do you expect him as a man to, to um, overlook his tradition and go into the kitchen and make food? <laughs> yes. I said, okay, what happens if your wife is pregnant and he needs help? Okay, what happens if your wife just put to birth and, you know, by that time we need help? By that time, what happens? Won't you assist her? And he was like, my mom gave birth to eight of us and she did everything. I was like, where are we going to with this? You're trying to eat your cake and have it, which is not right. You don't expect someone to, okay, let's say if you want to, if you want the woman to foot part of the bills, yeah? You should also be able to help around. That is my point. But they don't like it. Okay. They want to copy the Western world, and at the same time, they don't want Men, to copy. Yeah, they don't want to also <laughs> copy the, their tradition. They also yes. want to keep their tradition. Yes. Now, we're even talking about marriage. Marriage is very, very far. Can we come down to dating? Because I think 
it's from the dating aspect that we know where we are going to from. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then the question, the topic or the the topic in question. They are dating. They're just lovers. They're not married. <laughs> so do you think as lovers, a woman doing a lot, do you think it's going to affect the relationship in any way? Okay. So for me, I believe so much in humanity. Yeah. So in as much as I don't totally accept a lady taking the responsibility of a man. I, I, I saw a write-up somewhere. Someone said, what a man can do, allow the man to do it. <laughs> you understand? So the thing is that there's one thing for you to, okay, if you have a boyfriend and he does not have that much and you are in a position to help him, it is one thing for you to establish him and know that, okay, he can multiply this money. He can, maybe you open a business for him and you know that, you're just being human. Forget about dating first. You're just being human, helping him. But it's a different thing entirely when you continue doing that. You're giving money today, this month you give, next month you give, you know. It's, it, I, I don't support that. If you want to set up your man thinking that it will be okay for him, he can take some of the responsibilities off your shoulder, you can do that. But for you to make him be like, they said housewife. No, this one is house husband. I'll be house boyfriend. <laughs> but it's make him be like that. And then you keep on feeding him, taking care of the house expenses. Uh, it's, it's way beyond me. I can't do that. I don't support it. Wow. I like baby girl lifestyle, sorry. <laughs> but you know, eh, the women, most of them believe, instead of giving a man a huge amount of money to set, set him up with stuff, why not give him little, little handouts so that he can sort himself out momentarily and then his big break can come from somewhere else what do you think well like i just said i still believe in humanity so i think if you have if the lady have the money enough to spare it's wise for you to give him a bulky amount of money for him to start up that's where he will not be depending on you again now, if the man, if the boyfriend is the type that squanders the money, maybe these people that bet and hope that the next billion will come inside, you know, if he's that type, then no. But to me, I cannot finance my boyfriend. I'm sorry. I cannot finance his lifestyle. But I can help set him up, knowing that he won't be a liability to me, knowing that it will improve himself, his lifestyle, and probably um, it will be good for the whole relationship at the end of the day. So, yeah, it's better you set him up once in bulk, if you have, than for you to give him bit by bit. Trust me, it will be draining. That bit by bit, if you can keep it together and he starts a, maybe a business or anything like that, it will be better. If he, can, um, if he can make good use of the money, of course. That's, be that's brilliant. I wish ladies will learn... Now, talking about emasculating men, please, how do you think this whole rise of, I want a 50-50 woman? Because now I see it everywhere. Everybody's digging it's actually gold. actually everywhere. <laughs> and you, you, someone wants to get married and gets married. Too, because the truth is, everybody has been digging gold from time past. But maybe your gold is not what is gold to me. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Everybody has been digging gold. Now, maybe, um, what's his name? Um... Celebrities have been getting married. And when they get married and then you hear their wife's um, portfolio or see what they are, oh, everybody's digging gold. Don't, don't be a woman who doesn't bring something to the table. Table this, table that, table. Oh my God, my ear don't depend me. <laughs> what do you think gave rise to all of this? Okay. To be very frank, what I think gave rise to this, first of all, is from the economy. To be very sincere. Because if the economy is good enough and, you know, someone, you know, salaries people earned in maybe in our mother's time that was enough to run a household, if someone earns times three of that now, it's not enough to, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what gave um, rise to this 50-50 thingy. And apart from that, which I totally also understand with the guys too, and apart from that, what I think is also... Um, 
making this to be very um, everywhere now everybody wants 50 50 is from the western world as you can see people are really traveling out now yeah and they want to really copy that their tradition and and the thing is that it's their tradition not us and but you, but you know when you go to Rome, you behave like the Romans. Even at that, not all white men likes 50-50. Mm. Yes, not all of them. Most of them hate it. Most of them wants to take care of you. Most of them, some, rather some, because most do 50-50. I only know about those that are with African ladies. Okay. They don't like 50-50 at all. Oh. Maybe because African African ladies go there with their own tradition. Hey, yeah, in my tradition, we don't I, do fifty. I don't understand. understand. Why will I marry you as a as someone who is not from and then? Yeah. Oh, so I think what really brought about this fifty fifty is what is first economy and secondly um, Japa Japa yes, syndrome. Japa okay. syndrome. Yeah, that because I know if you if you leave the Nigerian um you need you leave the African um shores and you go abroad everybody's demand like you should work. Yeah. Like, you don't know, you work your ass out, you understand? There are things you get here easily. You can't get it easily over there, so you have to work hard. And then the ones that have not jackpa now wants me to work as hard as somebody who is surviving <laughs> in the in the, in the the abroad. And on top of it, they'll still cheat on you. <laughs> no, let's let's keep the shit in one, one, one place because I... I don't know. But let's just keep it aside. And I also believe, I don't know if you, if you, if you see it as a thing, over the years, many people knew that their mothers were the ones funding the family. I think this is where these boys learned this thing. Don't tell me, Jackpa. Yeah. You've not left the shores of the country and you're telling me 50-50. Yeah, for that. Your mother has been feeding the entire house. Your siblings, your, your father is at home. That's where you learned it. Yeah, you're not very far from the truth. Because the society we are now... It's from I'm the dangers so of the past. Yeah. But uh, it's from where they grew up from. Yeah. I have seen countless families where the woman works hard to send the children to school. Why? In our tradition, our tradition does is not like that. So whoever talks about tradition should follow tradition. Squarely. Yes. You understand? So in it's also from the society, from where they grew up from. Some of them probably must have had a wayward dad, somebody who does not care, you know. And then is it normal for a woman to foot their bills? Because if they, they were not comfortable with their mom doing it and showing it that ah, I'm the one feeding the house, I'm the one doing this, I'm the one doing that. If they were not comfortable, like if the woman was not bringing it out and then growing in that environment. Mm. I don't think a man, an African man, but let's leave Africa, Nigerian men, are, <laughs> they have ego. They know how to protect their ego. Do you get it? I know. So I don't think a man who has that um, the man kind of ego will want a girl yeah. to do basically 80% of the things for him. Yeah, also don't forget that there are also some Nigerian men who do not want the woman to contribute anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's mostly from the society because it's everywhere now. Yes, Truth. It is. Yeah, they might not term it as being 50-50. Mm. I mean, our parents might not really know mm. uh, the 50-50 thing, but it's happening. Mm. I've seen so many um, situations where women are the one footing the children's school fees, paying electricity bills, and what the father does is just to sit down with friends, drinking or something like that. I think I think the women from the nineties, like they gave rise to this thing. Submissive exactly. provider. Exactly. You're doing submissive pro provider for a, a what? For a husband <laughs> who goes out to drink. When you talk, it will beat your top. <laughs> so I think the whole I think the people from the nineties, they did a lot, I beg. Yeah. They did a lot. I, I they gave still... rise to a lot of things just because they wanted to stay married or Yeah, so. yeah. But um, at the same time you, you wonder what is the essence. If you're if you're in a marriage and you're the one taking all the responsibility as a lady, mm. why can't you just stay single and maybe have your child and then be on your own? You know, I think the orientation we they had about marriage is not the type we have about marriage now. Now most yeah. parents are opening up to even divorce. Like if you're not comfortable there, you can leave. Yeah. Most parents most parents are open to, okay, since you're up to 30, there's no pressure again. You know, the, the points you get to, there's no pressure again. It's more like you're failed and failed. And there's no pressure again. 
Most times, it's not even 30. Most parents know that their children, this one does not look like somebody that can stay with people. So they are conforming. They are adjusting. Do you get? Mm. Back in the days, they were not adjusting. The rule yeah. was the rule. If you did not get married, you are useless. Yeah, you are failure. wayward. You are a failure. Do you get? Mm. So there was no excuse back then. But now, you choke. There are things that, and then social media has given rise to us having so much information that we do not even need yes. about people that we do not need, you understand? So I think it was the society back in the days. You see a woman footing the business, thank you, and then even the neighbor doesn't know, just everybody in the house knows, but exactly. the next neighbor yes. doesn't know. Who do you want to complain to? Just because to? you want to stay married. You can't complain to anybody because your mother will tell you, I did it. Yeah. But you've been seeing me doing it. It doesn't take anything from you. Exactly. You can do it. You can't do it. If oh. I could do it, you can do it. Save your home. So I think that Save was just your it. Home. If you really love to do it, it's not a problem. We are not here to tell you not to do your yeah. thing. But we're just here to like state facts. But me, it's not really about loving to do it. I think that if, for instance, the wife earns a higher salary okay. more than the husband, I still emphasize on being... Human, human being, yes, you know? yes. So you don't expect your husband from the small that he has to, you know, to every time, you know, he's also a human being. He wants to feel loved, to support it. So if you have, yes, you can do it. At your own capability, you don't have to overdo it. Just what you can, as far as you have. I mean, what's all this money about? Yes, money is for spending now. If you have the money, you just... Bring it out and support me. If you want to buy him a land, it's not a problem for me. It's not me I buy it for. It's not my money I use it. In the country now, where do you think this is leading us to? Hmm. <laughs> the worst of it all is social media. If you have a boyfriend that is not on social media, thank your stars. Really. Because the social media is messing things. You, want, you can see someone saying something different from what he's doing in the real life can see a man saying, eh, this generation, he play wrestling with men. How can a man cook? How can a man do this? I don't do that. I am from here. But outside, now, he's doing it. No, they do it. You don't see skits. <laughs> you see skits and a man is saying that, how can a woman cook for a man? He's already cooking. No, they do it. Yeah. So it's more like, where the problem is having, getting validation from social media. Exactly. Getting validation exactly. from, that's where your problem starts. So I think where this is going is, uh, it will, I'm sorry to say, but it will get worse. And I thank God for the generation of women we have now. They said, they, they know me. Know <laughs> so I think everybody will just do what works for them. It's for you to call your partner and sit down. Do you, this one will say, do you accept 50-50? This one, no, I don't. Oh, oh okay, bye-bye. This one, do you accept it? Yes, I do. Okay, let's do it. Or this one, I need a baby girl's treatment. Ah, I'm your daddy, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I think everybody will just adjust in future, even though they can still lie on social media. Well, they and keep confuse lying. They keep others. lying, yeah. But everybody will just find a, 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 balance. a balance. Yeah, we yeah. are ready to meet. Where whatever meet. works for them. Yeah. That's beautiful. So you think. It's not cool for, well, now we now have traditional and modern people. So you will not choose where to fall in. So I think even differentiating where you stand mm. is enough for us to know where to judge you from. Yes. But for somebody who identifies as a traditional person, you think the woman should not spend so much for a traditional man. Okay, a traditional man should go and look for a traditional woman and be traditional together. Because uh, a traditional man must be able to provide. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether the lady provides or not. not. That's how it is for African tradition. I don't mm. know of any tradition in Nigeria, you can correct me, of any tradition in Nigeria where the woman is expected. I don't know, maybe mm. there is though. Where the woman is expected to foot the bill, I don't know. So if you're a traditional man, then you should know that traditional man is all round. All round, yeah. You foot the bill, yeah, the wife will do the chores. You know, you know, sorry to, sorry to cut you. Once we, once we get to this point where we're talking about traditional man and traditional woman, they now come with, but you need a traditional man who wants, is entitled to more than one wife. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Men will never understand that cheating is really, really, really 
uh, a very bad thing. They think it only hurts them. Okay. I think cheating hurts uh, women more than it hurts men, really. Mm. But they don't know. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I, I, I th- if they want, to, it depends. Uh, now it still boils down to the partner you choose for yourself. Yeah. If your partner said, "Okay, I don't have a problem. You can, you can get married to as many wives as you can," then fine. It's what she wants. And I know people that says, oh, as far as he provides for me, I don't care. He can marry as much as not me, though. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Whether you provide or not, one. Mm. So that's how it is. If you're a traditional man, that means the wife will take care of house chores, take care of the kids alone, and the man will work and bring money. That's a lot. Mm. I hope you guys are learning something <laughs> today. Don't come and post that your girlfriend bought you jeep. Don't, don't come and post <laughs> because me, I'm going to be looking at you. So, um. What do you think the next generation of men will be like? Next generation of men. <laughs> because the expectancy from the girl child or the expectation from the female, the expectation is becoming, oh my God, she doesn't have this. Okay, let's not even say the expectation. Last week, a woman was made CEO of mm-hmm. Zenith Bank, right? Yeah, yes. And then go to Facebook. You see men crying. Why are you crying? You're looking for a woman that brings something to the table. You are wailing. The man, to an extent, like when I was I was checking, they dragged the man there. Tiger Generator hmm. could never. They dragged him. And guess what? He deactivated his Facebook. Yes, it was that serious. What is the future of the men? In fact, I think the devil is intentional about wiping up the generation of real men in Africa. Mm-hmm. So what do you think the next generation of men will be like with this whole fight, gender wars and all? I think in terms of 50-50, they will make it mandatory. Trust me, they will. You know, that's more like a modern lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And you see, Nigerians, we like being modern, you know? We pretend to like being modern. I'm uh, telling you, it's, it's, it's yeah, pretense. To it's some pretense. extent. So I think they'll find... You want to be modern, but you don't want your children to question you when you do something that hurts their feelings. Uh-huh, yeah. You want to be modern, but you, you cannot stand up to reality. See, it's, I think it's going to take years, but there are things that we have to like unlearn. Mm-hmm. There are things we have to learn. We have to also relearn. So what do you think is the future of the next generation of women? Because... Ah, okay, I'll first answer the other one for next generation of men. men. I think they are really going to ma- normalize 50-50. Okay. Yeah. And for the women, they will adopt. Trust women uh, um, the way women are. There are some that would adopt and there are some that will still not adopt. Okay. So like I said earlier, it's just for you to discuss with your partner. If it is not what is good for you both, you better find your way. I think that's how it will be in the nearest future. And I blame everything on social media. Because sometimes uh, what you are, th- are not even thinking about, I might think about it. I'm posting on social media. Yes, like, it just oh, comes to me. I will do that. Without my permission. Oh, so people are doing this. I will do that. Without you know? my permission. Because ask me why I want to build a house for man. <laughs> Look at me. I'm so helpless. <laughs> I'm my mother's baby. <laughs> Ask me why I want to build a house for a man. Well, but we're getting there, and I, I, I thank God for awakening here and there. We read, we get to understand, we ask questions, and we find our balance. We ask questions, we, we try to know our differences and find yeah. a bearing, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful, but... And also, do not forget that there are women who are naturally... I don't know how to... Masculine, yeah, masculine energy is yes, very high. I'm someone like that. Good. <laughs> like, the, some of them, it's hard for them to ask a man for money. It's hard for them to depend on a man. That is why they work hard to get what they want. Okay. So, no, we, we're actually in a generation where women are even having, like women are high on their masculine energy. Yes. Maybe because of upbringing, because of yeah. um, how life has treated them. Sometimes when you know that you can't just get anything so easily, easily. you must provide it for yeah, yourself. Yes. So I think it's also going to also give rise to women providing for men. Yes. Because trust me, maybe in, in six months, your man doesn't bring something home. 
you want to like fill in the gap. But the consistent six months can turn into six years, my dear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to be high on my masculine energy till I, till I found the light. I found the light of God. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I haven't found the light yet. And I thank God so much that I don't always have the need to maybe ask. No, I don't necessarily have to ask. Yeah, but I get. Mm -hmm. You don't need to ask, but you get. So, yeah, nobody stresses you on how do I ask him for Uh, this. Uh, No, no, no. No, no. in as much as you. There's this this stuff I saw somewhere. You... um, you see her, she's so hardworking. She's making rules in her workplace. And then when she comes to you, she's helpless. Mm-hmm. See, the truth is, these men like... Soft women. See, they like you to be a damn cell in distress. They love it. They are pretending. Even the 50-50 man will leave you. For a girl who has... See, yeah. Let's not even go there. Nigerian men, African men like to marry down. They like to date down. So leave those ones who are go digging. I think it's a family problem. Go and check their upbringing. They learnt it from their family. Exactly. Exactly. That's my own submission. No, I don't know about you, but do you think it's normal for a woman to provide? You know, we are coming from, most of us are coming from Christian homes, right? Mm-hmm. Where... The Bible told us that the woman is the helpmate. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to say about that? And like I said, just be a helpmate. Like I said, I can't... uh, Consistently taking care of a man is is too much of a... It's too much, really, because women are not just built that way. Yeah. That is just it. We're not built that way. We can support, which I totally, totally uh, advise. But uh, being the sole breadwinner is not it. It's not it. It does a lot to the mind of your children. Too. Yes. It does yeah, a lot upbringing. to your mind. Yes. Okay. But that's that's beautiful. I know that you would have learned a lot today. Um, we're giving our shout out today to Divine Ugo. You've been a very supportive viewer we see your like we see your shares we see your comments we love you so much thank you for supporting the tadji light every time we want to appreciate you by this shout out so trust me guys have you been able to learn something today have you been able to come up to a submission about the emasculating men in 2024 do you find yourself doing 50-50 with anybody. If you have, please drop it on the comment section. Thank you for watching. Do not fail to like. Do not fail to share. Do not fail to subscribe. See you same time, same place, same channel. Bye.